Hello, YouTube modeling community. Um, this is Rec. Um, now that the 48 hour group build is over, I thought I'd uh, take time to uh, introduce myself further. Um, I, growing up in the late 50s, early 60s, was a, a very avid modeler, uh, modeling uh, everything, cars, planes, ships, even a spaceship or two. Um, but I pretty much stopped after uh, graduating from high school and uh, went on to military service and a career and family. And I say over uh, that 40 plus year, uh, I maybe made three or four models. Uh, but uh, about two years ago, I um, stumbled across some of the YouTube community. I, I think the first channel I picked up on was Trekworks, but I just kind of branched out from there to uh, other uh, recommendations and, and channels that I found. And uh, uh, it really provided motivation to, uh, to get back into the hobby, uh, which I did uh, probably a little over a year ago. Um, uh, we're located on the uh, Florida Space Coast. Uh, we've been here a little less than a year. Um, for the 40 plus years of, of career, uh, we were in Southern New England um, and uh, in Connecticut, actually. Um, I just, uh, one of my other uh, interests and, and hobbies, if you will, is uh, naval history. And I often try and blend that in with the modeling, uh, which I tried to do on the, on the 48 hour uh, build. So uh, what I wanted to do was also show some of the things that I have been doing uh, since I re-entered the hobby. Um, take a look here. This is a, uh, a late war Higgins PT boat, patrol torpedo boat. Um, it's uh, modified with uh, aftermarket 3D printed parts from Shapeways. Um, all the uh, weapons, guns on board are uh, 3D uh, rocket launchers, uh, 40 millimeter Bofor, uh, depth charges. Um, so uh, the base model here was the uh, Ravel uh, PT-212 which um, is actually configured more as a late war um, PT boat than as the real PT-212 would have been uh, configured. Uh, that hull number, uh, any hull number before around 450, PPT-450, the gun tubs on the 50 calibers were much forward uh, towards the uh, deck house. Um, and the Higgins boats, of course, are... Uh, distinguished from the Elko boats in that the Elko boats had uh, staggered 50 caliber gun tubs, one uh, forward on the starboard side, one aft on the port side. Um, but this was a, a fun build, um, you know, modified and uh, really inspired by uh, the refurbishment of PT-658, which resides now in, in uh, Louisiana, I believe, and it was uh, really started refurbishing it and re re refinishing it uh, in early 2000. And I'll, uh, I'll put some links below and maybe even add a little video clip uh, for that. What I'm working on right now is this uh, scout car. Uh, I picked this up in an auction that the local uh, modeling club held. And uh, although it's not really uh, my favorite um, subject to, uh, to model, what was interesting when I picked it up after bidding, I think about $5, I found it contained the um, Edouard uh, photo etch uh, kit. Um, not being very familiar with photo etch, having not uh, uh, used it really at all, I'm gonna use this as a, uh, as a learning experience to get to know and work with uh, photo etch. So uh, this is my uh, 
little modeling corner. Just a word about the uh, site name, um, Down the Throat Modeling. If you've uh, ever watched um, Run Silent, Run Deep, or uh, read anything about sub submarine history, uh, you know that the down the throat shot, or bow shot, or bow on shot, uh, is uh, a difficult and uh, challenging uh, tactic with um, significant possible reward, which is the way I wanted to treat uh, modeling. I wanted it to be challenging, uh, I wanted it to be rewarding, um, and, and I want it to take on the difficult uh, task. So uh, that's the background for the, the name. Um, so, okay, well, that's it for now. Um, I'm just getting into this. As you can tell, I'm taking this on my uh, smartphone. If uh, anybody's got any tips for uh, phone accessories or video editing uh, uh, tips, uh, I'd be more than welcome to... Uh, read about them in the comments. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Take care.